hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's Lisa Best Life Lee um, it's the weekend again so um, what I wanted to do is share a recipe that I'm gonna make out of an inspiration that I got from the entertain and celebrate um, harvest edition so it's got a lot of different ideas for the fall but it also has some really cool recipes and one of the recipes that really got me was this this pack of picnic um, and I was really inspired I thought that would be so much fun and what they have in this pack of picnic is a pork tenderloin sandwich um, and they cook it um, the traditional way and use like a tomato chutney um, but I am going to do something different I'm not gonna do it as a picnic but I am going to do it um, as that sandwich to have at home and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it in my instant pot and it's a Sunday afternoon the game is on and um, we can have these sandwiches along with a cup they have like a, a cool looking tea here I'm just gonna serve apple cider and some instead of making like the potato salad I'm gonna just serve it with some chips and pickles and I just think that it will be a really cool um, a really cool thing to do this afternoon um, I'm gonna use some of my time that I picked out of my window herb garden and um, utilize some of that with the pork loin so um, the recipe that I have for the instant pot is a recipe I got on Pinterest so I'm just gonna cook the loin and, um, and then when it's done slice it up and we'll put it in some bread um, and what I like to use for my sandwiches my I got these at Walmart and I'm sure that you've all seen this um, this is the Hawaiian hamburger buns and these are so delicious and I think that they will be amazing with this tenderloin cooked the way I'm going to cook it in the instant pot. So um, we're going to get started and I'm going to show you all the steps to get it into my instant pot and then when it comes out I will um, slice it up and make the sandwiches and plate it and then you can see how everything comes out. So again, you know, weekends uh, we can do a little bit more um, than we can during the regular work week. Um, obviously if you work on the weekends, you're going to want to <laughs> do this on whatever day you have off. But for me, weekends are my days off. So um, what I have here, and I picked this up this weekend. At my local Shaw's which is my local grocery store and it was on sale so something that was about 18 bucks I got it for six and this is like almost a four pound center cut pork loin so the recipe calls for two and a half pounds of this so I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna save half of it for another day so I just have my baggie and I'm gonna put half in the baggie and half I'm gonna to cook today. And it's pretty easy to know uh, where the halfway mark is on this. I'm just gonna get rid of this. So just kind of cut this in half. eyeball it All right. and I could do something with this other piece at some other time and I'm gonna freeze this Okay, so my recipe, what I have is it's the little rub that I'm gonna put on here is melted butter, 
with garlic, which is um, a tablespoon of minced garlic and um, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon, I have three tablespoons of butter in there in case I didn't say that, a tablespoon of soy sauce, three quarters of a teaspoon of lemon zest, and it does call for parsley, which I do not have. So I'm going to use my thyme and I'm just going to cut a couple sprigs of this off. I'm going to use a different pair of scissors than I used for my pork, obviously. And all I'm going to do is, this is nice and dry, so I'm just going to um, pull these little things right off into my mixture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this all together here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to brush this onto our pork loin. And then we're going to saute it and brown it on the saute function of the instant pot. And I'm going to take my little trivet out, but we are going to use this trivet in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the Instant Pot onto saute. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat up um, a tablespoon of olive oil. And what I'll do is I will bring you over so you can see what's happening in my Instant Pot. So I'm getting a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just going to heat that up in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to salt and pepper the pork loin and then brush all of that um, butter mixture onto it. So I have my salt and my pepper. Constantly washing your hands when you're dealing with raw meat. Go crazy here. All right, so now, so I'm going to bring the camera over so you can see me pour the stuff over and then see what's happening in the instant pot okay so first let's brush on our butter mixture and here it is nice and brown sugar butter garlic my fresh thyme all right we will get this all brushed on here Smells incredible. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the instant pot and we're going to brown it probably, it says two to three minutes per side. So I'm going to put this side down and I'm going to use my tongs to get it in. There we go. Let's get this poured on there. Okay, 
So I'm going to let this thing brown up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so it's browned. I browned it on all sides and that took probably about six or seven minutes. And so now I'm going to take the, the loin out, put it on a board to, um, while I get the um, broth going in the pan so that I can put it back in. And so I have one cup of chicken broth that I'm going to be uh, adding to the instant pot. I'm going to leave it on the saute function while I pour that in and get all the brown bits off the bottom of the of the instant pot and then we will put the pork back in and then do the rest of um, the cooking. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now all browned. It actually looks beautiful and it smells incredible. So I got all the sides. So that's what it looks like. Looks beautiful. So now let's take a look inside the instant pot here. So you can see it's kind of brown going on in there. So I'm going to get my chicken broth. And you have to be careful because you don't want to burn yourself. Not really. So pouring that in there like that and getting like the brown bits from the bottom hopefully you can see that just kind of scrape them back and forth get that all up So the saute function and I'll just show you the instant pot in front of the instant pot so you can see if you've never so right now it's on the saute function so I'm going to cancel that, okay, and I'm going to put this little trivet in there that uh, it comes with. Um, so I'm going to put this like this, put this in, and um, we're going to set that pork on top of the trivet. pork back in there all right then we're going to put our cover on so um, and I always like to make sure that this little um, this little thing is out from underneath the little rubber grippy thing here make sure this is all down nice and tight put it on it. We make sure this is not, this is closed at the top. It's, you know, you've got your, either your uh, venting or you've got your ceiling. So you want to push it towards ceiling to make sure it's nice and tight in there. And then we're going to cook, pressure cook and we're going to do 15 minutes. So when we push the pressure cook, we're going to add to 15. And so, so what's going to happen is that the, if you've never used an Instant Pot, which you may be saying everyone uses an Instant Pot, <laughs> um, but just to kind of, in case you haven't, you let the Instant Pot come up, it's going to come up to pressure right now. Um, you see that there's like this little, um, like little hole here. This little thing inside of here will pop up when uh, the pressure starts building in there with the steam and everything. So what we do is once it comes to pressure, then it will cook for 15 minutes. And once it stops, 
then the pressure starts gradually releasing and we want to do that for 15 minutes before we take it out so it essentially cooks for about a half an hour now I could release the steam sooner if I wanted to depending on what I'm making but in this particular case we let it come down naturally for 15 and minutes and then we transfer it to a cutting board and we let it sit for 15 minutes before we start cutting it up so now this particular recipe for the sandwiches the roast pork sandwiches um, and this is a tenderloin sandwich and I think the tenderloin has a bone in it the loin doesn't which is what I'm cooking um, but anyway um, they they call for mixing it with um, a tomato chutney which I'm not going to do I think I'm just gonna uh, when I slice it up I think I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue we'll see how juicy it is I think these I have how thick it is I may thicken that up and just use that actually I think that's what I'm gonna do just thicken that juice up and then that way the pork is nice and juicy um, and uh, we use mayonnaise they use mayonnaise mixed together with paprika which I may do because I that sounds good um, and they have cheese on theirs um, they use provolone cheese I don't have any provolone cheese but um, maybe I'll put a little American cheese on there my husband's a cheese lover so um, so we'll see on that but I'm gonna let this cook and I will come back at the end and after it's been sitting for 15 minutes and then we will make the sandwiches and I will plate everything um, so that you can see what our weekend dinner is going to be like. Okay, so the Instant Pot, uh, it came up to uh, temperature, cooked for 15 minutes, and then I let it reverse for 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna so do now. is take the cover off and take my pork loin and let it sit for 15. So I'll show you all of that. So I'm just going to shut this thing off. Uh, cancel cancel shuts it off and now I'm going to be able because it's set for 15 the cover is going to be able to come off otherwise it wouldn't let me if the steam was too um, hot still so I'm just going to take the cover off here and we will take a look at it good so I'm just going to take that and put it on my little cutting board here and um, in order to make sure that it's cooked all the way through I'm going to use my uh, meat thermometer and I want to set it I want it to be uh, 145, setting my temp here. And I want it at 145. And so we'll just put the thermometer in and see where we're at for temp. And if it's not cooked all the way, I'll put it in my oven for a little bit. Looking good. Yep. All right, so my temperature, my meat is cooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit here for 15 and I'm gonna put a piece of aluminum foil on it because, because I, have, I have a bad kitty. <laughs> and he, We'll find this in a heartbeat. 
So we are going to cover this up loosely just so my cat doesn't get it. And then what I'm going to do, I want to thicken this up. So I'm going to put it back on saute and I'm going to take a little bit of this out, mix it with some flour and then put it back in and thicken it up. So I have my timer on uh, for 15 minutes and um, that's how long that the pork has to sit. So I'm putting this back on saute and I'm going to take a little bit of these juices and I'm going to put them in my bowl that has about two tablespoons of flour. And I'm just going to mix this up to thicken. We'll get a nice thicker sauce to mix the sam you know the meat when I slice it up and it'll be a beautiful it'll be a beautiful little sauce because that's what attracted me to the sandwiches I saw in that magazine was that it looked so saucy. See how saucy it looks? It looks yummy. So I want it to look like that. So See that this stuff is starting it's starting to bubble up a little so I have my nice thickened so I'm gonna put this back in here get my wooden spoon Let's see if I can thicken this up okay plates together. So these are just beautiful, beautiful pieces. I'm just taking the little edges off and I'm going to put these into the bowl with the sauce just to give them a little extra juice. Oh, look at this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This is looking like exactly like what I wanted them to look like. So now I'm going to put them on the buns. And I'm going to cover this leftover piece really tightly so my cat doesn't get it. not doing potato salad because I wanted something really easy something easy for at home on a Sunday afternoon with the game on so we're just gonna do some chips Take my pork, three pieces to a slice, take a little bit of the excess off, this looks just like the picture in my magazine. I'm 
very, very thrilled. The warm meat will melt the cheese a little bit. amazing <laughs> so yeah we're gonna dig in while we watch the rest of the game and with some ice cold apple cider this is gonna be delicious I wanted to hop back on and just let you know that that was the most tender, tasty, juicy, delicious pork loin sandwich that we have ever had. So it was definitely um, a winner. Um, I, I will post the Pinterest link to the Instant Pot recipe for the pork loin and that will be linked below and I hope that you will give it a try. So anyway, it was a winner. It was definitely a keeper. And um, so I hope you have a great weekend. I hope that you try something different. I hope that if you have an Instant Pot, you use it. I hope you will let me know if you have any tips or tricks that you wanna share. And I hope that you come back soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.